welcome to this week's vlog. We're going at the Long Dog Cafe for breakfast. It's Saturday morning and we're going to vlog this week. We're going to vlog because there are many exciting things happening. Sorry about the wind. I don't know how this is going to be the sound. Yeah, many exciting things happening. I'm going to Edinburgh and then on Wednesday I have a lovely afternoon tea arranged. So I'm just going to take you with me and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Basically the worst LinkedIn profile if it was the truth. <laughs> Which I just as I went along being a graduate, soaking up the world like a sponge, I didn't necessarily want any of my bosses' jobs. I always felt like the ladder wasn't for me. I always felt like I wanted to create my own job. And I probably sound like an entitled millennial because I well, I did feel quite entitled. I felt like this is not the dream that I was sold. This is I, why are we doing it like this? I want to do things differently. I've never had a business loan. I've never had even an overdraft. I'm kind of allergic to debt. So um, if I don't have the money in the bank account, then that means that we're not buying more stock in. So the stock that we've got, I started with three brands from Scandinavia, and we've grown organically from there based purely on how we're selling things. If things are selling, we're buying them in. If not, then we can't. We won't be taking investment in, even though there has been many offers. I have always said no, because I don't want to be in somebody else's pocket. I want the decisions to be mine and my team's decisions. About your business, Jen, do you look to social media? Because obviously your career has been a long one, and you've seen it go through so many changes. How important is social media in what you do now? Yeah, it's still very important, and especially from a if I take, for instance, PCL groups, not great with the social media piece, just put out our website, etc. But we grow through recommendation with the technology. With uh, Brick and Green, it's completely different. I have to advertise every week what new gin we've got in the bar, um, what new craft beer is coming up, mm -hmm. what functions we've got going on. I mean, it's just never ending. I have my own social media team in the office now that deal with Brick and Green's profile alone, let alone anything else. And I was going to tell you actually something quite amusing about social media. So I travel quite a lot um, and I don't get to see my grandchildren as often as I would like to. I've got a 10 year old and a 2 year old. And I remember saying to my 10 year old granddaughter one day, I really miss you early when I'm not around here. You know? And I'm so sorry that sometimes I have to be away on business and I miss all the special events like birthdays and other things. And her comment back, bear in mind she's only 10, she says to me, oh grandma, that's okay, I just Google you. <laughs> <laughs> what really annoys me is when magazines are like, here's how to get a work-life balance, as in a work-life balance is just this ratio that all human beings should stick to, and if you don't have a weekend, then you're an awful workaholic, and if you don't work enough, then you're lazy. I think that we need to be kinder to each other, and also really just understand that we're all different. You know, my book, for example, is not for everyone. Not everyone wants to blend their work and life. My sister, for example, it's her work's nightmare. She wants to go to work and she wants to come home and she wants to do, she wants it very, very separate. We're so different and I think that it's the same for mothers and people that aren't mothers. You know, I've just written a whole book about how I find I'm most productive. I don't have children. We need to be clear about that because I have more hours in the day. I just do. I can write at 3 a.m. if I want to, if I feel inspired. I'm sure not everyone can. So I think we just need to be really sort of wary that you, there's no one, one size fits all. And also I think when people share their story, it's not saying this is the way to do it. It's just saying it worked for me and actually instead of just living my life, I'm going to share it because we all, you know, I like it. Hey 
Hello there! I'm back from the event. It was really good, very inspiring to hear all these women sharing their stories and things that I never knew about Titi and Emma herself. It was just so nice, so empowering. It, I went out of the venue and I feel stronger in a way, stronger and I believe more in myself that I can do things. So that was really, really nice. Thank you to the Royal Bank of Scotland for organizing that and inviting me and having me there. It was really empowering and I most certainly left the place with so many ideas in my head that I'm looking forward to applying in real life. evening everyone so we haven't done much today other than just being in the house and myself being in the attic and looking for some old furniture that I'm looking to paint white and have it in the living room because it's a waste of space and money if we're just gonna throw it away um yeah like I said I haven't done much oh I went to Primark do you call it Primark or Primark when I was living in Newcastle it was Primark and now that I moved in Scotland it's Primark so I'm always confused yeah Anyway, I went there, I bought this rainbow jumper, which very much reminds me of one I saw last year at Gap. And apart from shopping and being at the attic and cleaning the house and painting the walls, I haven't done anything more interesting. Right now I'm just walking cruisy and I'm heading to the West End for some coffee and I'm hoping to see one of my friends who I've texted earlier. Um, and yeah, that's it. How are you today? It's Friday, it's almost the end of the month. I'm walking cruisy. There he is. We just had a lovely coffee at the Cognito. I'm also learning Italian, so I had the chance to get my book and just study a tiny bit while having coffee and eating some cake. Loads of wonderful things happened this week. I went to the very empowering event, as I said. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we are good now. So I went to the very empowering event organized by the Royal Bank of Scotland, as I said previously. And I've also decided to take more contributors on NatBees after I had a lovely discussion with Susie from Sincerely Your Susie. I explained to Susie why I would like to have more people on board and new voices and she totally understood my reasons and she actually encouraged me very much to get new people on board. So I talked about it on my Instagram stories and I had so many people 
just wanting to join in so thanks everyone everyone honestly everyone who has emailed me and sent me messages thank you so much i'm so excited to work with you and loads of new interesting things are on our way for natbees and the team i'm so excited to share all the changes with you and i hope that you're gonna keep reading the vlog and want to know all about our updates it feels very much like autumn these days in aberdeen like i said it's the end of the summer and i can already feel that because I'm wearing a scarf. Walking back home just now, I'm gonna make a cup of tea and keep answering to emails. I also have to edit three blog posts for today and also I might edit that vlog because it's gonna be a weekly vlog. I had so many things to do this week planned, like I had to go for an afternoon tea which eventually had to be cancelled and then this weekend I thought I'm going to Edinburgh but again I had to cancel so you know I don't know if it's gonna be a very interesting vlog but just let me know your thoughts and yeah, I hope that you're gonna enjoy just having a snippet inside my life and what I do during my days in Aberdeen. The camera quality is crappy at the moment, but I'm so tired. These are the fingers of a girl who just spent two hours cleaning the bathroom. This is the other hand. I am just knackered, so I'm just having another gin and tonic with uh, rhubarb and ginger gin. And I'm watching Jurassic Park. And you have to excuse the mess in the front. I have to move all the towels and everything and the mirror outside the bathroom. This will be the end of this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching what I've done this week and taking you around the city of Aberdeen. If you did like this vlog, please subscribe and I'm gonna drink this to you. Cheers! <laughs>